Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series, facilitated by renowned educators. ISC podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. Please be sure to listen to our important message following this episode regarding the risks of investing in exchange-traded options. Uh, hopefully, uh, let me run through the questions and uh, any other questions, love to answer them for the next couple minutes. If any questions, I know uh, I spent a lot of time in this presentation as far as the numbers are concerned, and um, you may want to go back to the archive and check them out, but uh, hopefully I tried to, uh, I created a, a pretty um, succinct presentation. I know um, it's a little bit esoteric as far as uh, trying to figure out not only what you paid for the option, what the option's worth at expiration. Again, and you might say, well, what happens if I buy an option and the volatility goes up? Not only uh, can I not quantify that, um, that's one of the most difficult things is that when I'm creating a model, um, I don't know until expiration what these values are worth. Um, I might say, well, what happens if the volatility increases to X or Y or Z? But I wasn't going to go through that today because that would have probably taken hours. So I wanted to show you um, this kind of presentation. Uh, Simon says, isn't this already in an archive? Uh, believe it or not, Simon, it is. Um, but I actually built the slides a little bit differently. I, I thought maybe this was a little more straightforward because I created a table. I didn't have the table. I just had bullet points. The last time I did a dollar against yen, and I did a million dollars of a portfolio. I said, well, let me just make it a smaller portfolio size this time. Not that you know the numbers are so easily uh, changed. You can make it a $5 million portfolio. You can make it a, a $50,000 portfolio. You can run the numbers very easily. And uh, if you want to hedge or you're concerned, maybe even if you're someone that travels quite often and you maybe you know, you're going to spend uh, 20000 30000 on some sort of uh, trip or whatever, or maybe it's you know extended period or something. I mean, any, you have to think about every contract is worth about uh, ten or eleven thousand. Of course, the cheapest one at the ISC is probably <clears throat> dollar against the pound, which is worth about I don't know, it's roughly six grand. Simon, I can't email you this, but I, you can archive. You can get it via the archive. <clears throat> uh, John wants to know he doesn't get the hundred times a hundred. Let me just go through it again. There, are, if you're trading a, an IBM option, you know that because it controls a hundred a hundred shares you multiply that premium uh, by 100 to get the amount that you pay your broker. So you're actually controlling that amount. But in the ICFX option, because we're multiplying um, the value by 100, except in the case, I, you know, I should have said, if it, in the dollar, against the yen, it's not going to be multiplied 100 by 100. It's just 100 because we modify the current five of the six currency pairs by a hundred. So you take the modifier, multiply it by that hundred, and you come up with that amount. Um, if there isn't a modifier like in yen, you wouldn't. You would just multiply it by a hundred. So John, I hope that helps because yes, you're right. In the case of the yen, we're not modifying it at, at all, and you wouldn't multiply it. Thank you. I'm going to give everybody else another three or four minutes to uh, type any questions. I'm glad you, ha you got that, John. And of course, the modifiers are going to be different with the new currencies that are coming, Mexican peso, Swedish krona, and the Australian dollar. So I'll give you more information on, on that once I get all that. Uh, next week, Patrick Soresna is going to be talking about technical analysis, and that will be on August 4th. Jack Crooks will be back with us on August 6th, talking about dollar. You know, will it uh, increase? Will it decrease? You know, and the ramifications, so lots to hear from Jack. You know that uh, Jack does an amazing job on presenting the different scenarios. And uh, Stanley Dash will be with us talking about what TradeStation has to offer on August 11th. So if there aren't any further questions, I'm going to give everybody 30 seconds. I just want to say thank you for um, tuning in to us here at the ISC. 
And again, we'll be talking more about technical analysis next Tuesday. Jack will be talking a little bit more about currency flows on Thursday. And the, not only the flows, but the different possible scenarios. It's one thing that Jack does a great job of that he gives you not only one view, but okay, what happens if uh, scenario B plays out, scenario C? And again, that's really the real world because we're never fully certain on anything. Um, so having those various scenarios, I think, help you come up with your own option strategy um, because you could sort of come up with um, some potential probabilities. We know that they're not guaranteed, um, but you know, at least you can come up with some basis for your own option strategies and your viewpoint. Uh, at this point, I want to, uh, oh, one other question. Carla says, interactive brokers, does, does interactive trade it? Absolutely. Uh, he also mentions that the delta will be very close to 100. Yeah, in fact, um, they're probably uh, you know, very, very close to 100. And the out-of-the-money options are going to be probably lower than 10. Uh, so at this point, I want to thank all of you. I'm getting a lot of nice compliments, so thanks again. And I want to, again, thank all of you for attending today. Please join us again for Pat, uh, Patrick Ceresna on August 4th, Jack Crooks on August 6th, Stanley Dash on August 11th. Thanks again. Have a great night and have a great trading day tomorrow. On the behalf of the International Securities Exchange, this is Steve Meisinger saying have a great evening and please come back and join us real soon. Thank you. Bye now. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.